This week on Supercars Talk, I look at the 2019 Enduro lineups. With greater emphasis being placed on the co-drivers this year, with Bathurst being the first of the Enduros, most of the teams have already announced their lineups. Um, there's a few that have stayed the same, uh, and not so many new faces, but some have moved around a bit. Uh, I'm going to do a, bit, a little bit of a rundown of uh, all the teams, what kind of give a bit of my opinion, what I think of some of them. Um, that's not as fun these days as what it used to be. Uh, most of the guys now are very high level uh, operators. Um, a, a lot of them are kind of ex main game drivers. Uh, that you know, pr probably not good enough to be champions, but you know, quite quite a few of them could probably um, justify themselves, you know, to have a full time drive if they had the opportunity. So to start off, I think we'll uh, run through the unchanged lineups from last year. So it's uh, we've got three three teams that haven't changed the lineup at all. Um, Walk and Shaw were the first ones to announce their lineup. Uh, Luff will be staying with Scott Pye and Jack Perkins with James Courtney. If it ain't broke, why change it? Um, the, these guys do a really solid job each year. Both of them ex-main game drivers. Both of them, you know, a bit lacking as main game drivers, but both of them have been really solid co-drivers over the years. Uh, I think Luff's had um, one or two uh, Pertec uh, championships. Well, the Pertec Cup, which is um, awarded to the guys who win kind of the endurance series. Um, I think he's won two of them. One, one was with Lowndes, um, and I, I think he might have got one with um, Scott Pye. I'm oh, not too sure about that one, but um, I'm sure I'll hear if I'm wrong about that. Um, and Jack Perkins had his uh, solo main game win the other year there on the Gold Coast with Courtney. So. Um, you know, good good line up there. Um, the DJR Team Penske, so they, they're sticking with um, Alex Prema and Tony Dalberto. Um, it's funny, I was thinking about this the other day, if, you know, when you when you think of Tony Dalberto running around in his own car, kind of, you know, generally he was down the back of the field, um, they were a single car team doing it themselves. But when, when you think about that kind of, you know, a few years ago, and to say he'd be a Penske driver now, um, I wouldn't have believed it, but uh, yeah, the, the odd situation where Tony D'Alberto, he is a fully-fledged Penske driver. Um, once again, they've done a good job. They deserve to be re-signed. Erebus is sticking with the proven lineup of uh, Reynolds and Yulden. They won Bathurst two years ago. They were pretty online to win it last year until uh, Dave had his issues. Um, possibly still could have won it if they'd actually swapped over to Yulden when they had the chance. Unfortunately, you know, we look back on these things now. Um, Anton and Will Brown again. Uh, potentially, um, you know, Will, Will Brown's star of the future, I think. So it's, it's good to see him getting another run there. This year, it's all change at Triple Eight, but not kind of, I suppose, you know, change that we're used to. With... Um, Craig retiring from full-time duties. He's going to take the seat uh, next to Jamie. And, um, well, what can you say? I mean, they've already won three together. Would have probably been more if they hadn't. I, th I think the, uh, the co-driver only rule was basically to stop these two from winning every year. Um, having said that, since Jamie's been solo, he seems to find a way to shoot himself in the foot at Bathurst. Um, maybe Craig will be a calming influence. You know, he won it last year, uh, and you know they seem to be nowhere most of the week. Um, Craig definitely he knows that it is a long race, and you know I, th I think he's learnt from you know maybe a couple of years where he tried to win it on the first lap or you know in the first stint and uh, didn't. Um, and nowadays he he looks at it as a whole race and you know makes sure he's there at the end. Um, and we got Van Gisberg and Tander together, so Shane's finally got, um, let's say, a teammate that he deserves. You know, the last last few years at AAA, you know, they've kind of poured it in an international. Now, okay, that's picking on Premier a little bit, but you're also, you know, there's a big size difference between Premier and Shane. Um, whereas, 
you know, Tander's the same size. He knows these things like the back of his hand. They are going to be a strong combination. At Tickford, there's a lot of changes. Uh, Chaz and James Moffat are staying together again. Uh, they did a very good combination last year. If I think they won, they actually won the Pertec Cup last year, I think. Um, Cam Waters has got Michael Caruso. That will be a very good pairing. Um, Caruso is another one of these drivers, like James Moffat, who probably, you know, they, they do kind of, not deserve, but they could have a main game drive uh, and you know you you wouldn't knock them back on that um, they are very good drivers uh, Will Davison and Alex Davison will pair up again the um, the two brothers I think this will be the fourth time they've run together um, a couple of years there at Erebus and now two years with um, what do we call it Red 23 Racing um, I'm just going to call it the fourth tick for car I think uh, Lee Holdsworth hasn't got a confirmed co-drive yet um, the, uh, you know, the, everyone's kind of saying Thomas Randall, who's, he's, um, driving their Super 2 car, uh, be a good chance for him to step up. Uh, yeah, I, I think Thomas Randall's probably going to have the seat and that's what I'm hearing at the moment. Uh, move on to the Kellys. Uh, quite a few changes in the Kellys this year. Simona will be staying with Alex Rullo. Yeah. Um... It is what it is. Rick and Dale Wood this year. Now, Dale Wood's, to me, Dale Wood's actually a very underrated driver. Uh, I, I think this is a very good signing for the team. Um, apparently, Rick and Dale are good mates, and Dale Wood's driven for the team again. So, i driven for the team before. Uh, but back in the old days, uh, the, the very old day when um, Kelly Racing started up, uh, just after they took over Perkins, he, did, he had his first full year with them then. Uh, Andre Harmgartner is going to be with Bryce Forward. Uh, Bryce is, you know, a young guy racing for Matt White in the develop, oh, Super 2s, uh, which the, they're running the Nissans, so he'll be quite used to uh, the cars and that. He'll, he'll be ready to go. And um, Gary Jacobson is with Dean Fiore, which, you know, Dean, Dean's done a great job the last few years. Um, he, he's been sat next to Caruso for the last few years uh, so you know he knows the team and equipment well um, yeah there's good good consistency there with the co-driver um, now we get to the ones with a few question marks um, Brad Jones Racing question marks all round uh, looks like Ash Walsh will be with Tim Slade again and Tim Blanchard will be driving with Nick Perkat. There is a bit of a question mark uh, who's going to be driving next to Macca Jones. Uh, Dean Canto did have a steer of the car at Winton and um, you know that, that wouldn't be a bad signing uh, and someone with a lot of experience next to Macca uh, would be good for his first enduro campaign. Uh, Techno, still not confirmed. This is pretty normal for Techno. Uh, I think John O'Webb actually drove the car at Winton so you know you're the boss, why not have a drive? Having said that, uh, Todd Kelly doesn't drive his own car, so, you know, a bit there. Um, Matt Stone Racing, uh, I don't know. I, I thought that uh, Jason Bright was going to end up there last year because it is actually Jason Bright's uh, racing entitlements uh, contract that they race under. You know, I thought there would have been some kind of deal there. Not... Um, you know, Brighty is doing the TCR series this year, so, you know, maybe, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, who knows where they're thinking. Uh, Gary Rogers Motorsport, they have signed their lineup. Uh, Chris Pitha is lining up next to Richie Stanaway. Um, Chris did a great job filling in last weekend while Richie had his neck problems. Um, actually got the best result that that car's seen all year, so... Could be one of those odd times that the uh, co-driver is quicker than the main driver. Um, and Richard Muscat's going to be with James Goulding. Uh, I think they actually had that pairing last year. Um, he, he's done a couple of enduros now, or a, a couple of years enduros with Gary Rogers. So, we'll see him out there. And the big one that somehow I missed down the end of the list, um, Team 18. Uh, we got Mark Winterbottom and Steve Richards. 
So an old Bathurst winning pairing and um, the reigning Bathurst winner there. So it'll be interesting. Um, you know, Richo's getting on a bit, but they were, he won it with Lands last year. So, um, the, you know, they hadn't looked quick all, all weekend at Bathurst and then they go out and win it at the end of the day. So that's a quick rundown of uh, all the team lineups. Um, there's a few seats that are still available. Uh, you know, most of them have got people penciled in so far. Probably the, the, the main one with question marks is this um, Matt Stone Racing seat and um, the seat next to Macaulay down at BJR. Um, if, if you're looking for favourites for the race, you can't look past Triple Eight. They're just their their lineups are unbelievable. Um, you know, Van Gisbergen's the only one without a Bathurst to his name. All of them won a championship. You know, all, all of them are unbelievable drivers. They they all deserve to have a full time seat, really. Um, and you know, that's just where it's at. Um, you know, DJR. Uh, the cars are very quick. If it comes to a shootout. Though with co-drivers, I yeah, I'm not sure if Premier and Dalberto are quite up to the task on an like they're very good, but on an absolute outright shootout. If you've got Craig Lowndes and Garth Chander there up against Premier and Dalberto, you know you you know what I'm getting at really. Um, and then I I think uh, you know the the Tickford lineup with Chaz and Moff and then Cam Waters and Mike Caruso. Um, they're great lineups. And of course, at, at Erebus lineup. And I think Anton and Will Brown are only going to get stronger, uh, which, you know, I've kind of, you know, listed seven, eight cars there. Um, you know, when you start getting to guys like Pie and Luff and uh, Courtney and Perkins, and you know, you, you wonder if they've got a chance when you look at some of the other lineups there. So that's a quick rundown of all the teams. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. We've got Bathurst first up this year. Usually we get kind of the Sandown warm up. This year Sandown's on a little bit later. It's actually the, the final enduro for the year. Uh, not sure how that'll go. Um, Sandown will still be the retro round, so there'll be a little bit of interest there. And I suppose, you know, the the winner of the Enduro Cup gets, um, you know, crowned there. Um, so that will probably bring a little bit more significance to that. Uh, you know, it used to be a bit kind of a not a non event, but um, you know. It, it, was the Enduro Cup was a bit overshadowed, I think, by you know the glitz and glamour of winning at the Gold Coast. So, might might be a bit interesting this year having it at Sandown. That's all I've got for this week. So until next time, I'll see you later. Put away your inhibitions. Let the beast in you just get loose. We all young, wild and.